More of your questions coming through to us uh, on our Twitter account on League Sunday, and that is at League Sunday, if you want to send in some to us. This time it's on hurling. Michael Dignan uh, joins us for our little chat this time. Michael, uh, a few of the questions, I suppose, not unnaturally go about Offaly. And the first one is from Holly O'Connell, because she wants to know, how do you think that Offaly will get on this year under their new manager, and a manager, of course, that you played with for so many years? Yeah, the great Brian Whelan, uh, the millennium man, but he's in a tough yeah. position, I suppose. Look at... Uh, the big disappointment, I think, in Offaly was the first match of the league against Leash that um, put Offaly under a lot of pressure uh, straight away. They were missing quite a number of players, and that really was a game that we thought if Offaly won that and you know would make sure maybe we'll stand up in Division One B. But they had a great result uh, today against Limerick, a draw against Limerick, uh, random monster champions. They played a lot better against Cork last week, so I can see an improvement. Brian's a fantastic hurling man. Um, and he's a great man for peaking on the big day, for getting teams ready for championship. That was his own way as a player. Yes. Um, wouldn't he be a bit traditional? He wouldn't be mad about the league like a lot of all of, of, of us Offaly players at that time. But I think with John Troy, another man who wasn't too fond of the league uh, in there as well, and Jared Coughlin, great hurling men. Yes. But I, you know, I think it'll take time. Offaly have had no success at underage uh, for a long number of years now, and I think the quality of our young players coming through hasn't really been good enough for the last five or six years. So. Still some good players in the squad, uh, maybe a bit of a sleeping giant if they can get themselves right and I think Brian will do a great job in the long run. And I suppose, Michael, that actually takes us on to the next question. This one comes from Pat Kathleen Conlon because she asks indeed, what is the future for Offaly Harding and basically, are the players there? Yeah, well, look, at um, as as you all know, Offaly is a very small county. Mm. The, the hurling pocket in Offaly is extremely small. You know, when I was playing with Offaly, uh, you know, the, Within seven miles of Borough, you had you had maybe seven or eight senior teams. That was it. You were drawn from a very small pool of players, and we had tremendous success. And I think we maybe got a bit complacent over the years um, in terms of our underage. I think that's the big thing. But there are structures being put in place now. They are, it is improving, but we have a lot of work to do. And I think we have to move with the times. You know, I think mm-hmm. uh, look, Nan's comms created a, a fair bit of a furore, and I was talking about it last Friday night. We had a bit of crack over it, but gave you, know, you a bit of a spur. Well, no, but I, I think what my issue with what Jared said was really the language you used rather than the actual sentiment you yeah, expressed. Sure. Yes. I, I actually do think we are being left behind a bit yes. in terms of our yeah. strength and conditioning programs. I think our budget you know, that we have to prepare teams is very low compared to other counties. Yeah. There's a lot of issues like that. Yeah. But um, overall, you know, I think Offaly Hurling is it's in a reasonable state, with, but I think a lot of our better players are getting on and our young players coming through aren't up to standard. So I think it's going to take us a few years to bridge the gap and come back maybe with a strong team again. All right, Michael, let's uh, widen out the conversation for the next question. And this one says, um, is there any point in still having provincial championships? And this basically asks, would a Champions League type of format be better? Yeah, the old chestnut yes. uh, that we, we've had. Look, at, I think it, it could be well worth trying in the Champions League. But at the end of the day, it's not going to happen. I think, you know, the traditionalists... Um, within the GA won't allow the Munster Championship to go particularly. Yeah, yeah. The Leinster Championship has really fleshed, um, improved, I think, with, with the advent of, of Galway coming into it and Dublin improving so much, you know, winning their first Leinster Championship in so many years last year. So I think you have a very competitive Leinster Championship. I suppose Connacht and Ulster, you know, the, the Connacht Championship has gone, Ulster Championship, yeah. again, been left out a bit last year. So, look, at it's it's here to stay, I think, um, even though maybe some change. I think I think the bigger issue is, is the amount of matches the players are playing that our championship season has gone on too long, our club season is suffering badly, our, our club players are being left maybe from April to September with no match and that's, that's not sustainable in the, long, in the long term and if you want to develop players they have to be playing competitive club matches during the summer mm-hmm. so I think we need to look at the amount of matches that we're playing rather than what format we're playing them in. Okay Michael, one final one for you and this one poses the question about uh, the state of hurling generally, uh, does it need changing or is it okay the way it is? Well, you can't change. Hurling is the way it is. It's developed, you know, it develops different styles at different times. I was glad in a way of Clare's um, emergence last year because it came with a very skillful yeah. brand of fast hurling, you know, a lot of movement. I, it had been getting very, very physical, you know, the, the, the game of hurling in general. A lot, lot of very strong physical players and the, the skillful smaller lad was been, you know, was being pushed out of the game. Uh, whereas Clare came up with, you know, the likes of Podge Collins is, is only five foot six or seven but a great player and they developed a style that suited their players and showed that it can be done Cork to a lesser extent did the very same thing so look at I think Hurling is going very well um, I would have you know uh, issues about the amount of matches I think we're burning out our players yeah. uh, and, and the amount of matches that are very good young players are playing and the injuries are sustained in both Hurling and football I think we're not protecting our biggest resource enough and that's, that's our players and we're running them into the ground and I think that's something the GA have to take very very seriously over the coming years Okay, all right, Michael Dygan, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts on all of that. Thanks to you as well for your questions. We'll have more in the weeks to come. And if you want to send in some of your questions or indeed some of your opinions, don't forget you can get us at at League Sunday.